Last year, uh, the Avalon approached us about providing outdoor content for plein air, um, which I was over the moon about because I love plein air. And, um, and I got really excited about this idea that it would be like an, on, an annual piece of the factory's theatrical season. Um, and our mission at the factory uh, is that we mainly produce original work. Uh, but the other part of our mission is that we um, elevate and bring classic texts to a new audience. Um, so that's where our summer play comes in. Is Clemens, um, a young female director, she's a graduate of Washington College, uh, and famous for directing a lot of plays in, at Groove Theater in Cambridge. Um, some of my favorite, actually. She's an incredible director, and she picks amazing plays and executes them so well. She's also so brave. She immediately said yes, and we began discussing what classic text she would like to do. And she said streetcar, and I was like, okay, wow. And you know, it, it did scare me a little bit at first because one, it's very heavy, and two, you know, streetcar's tough because of the movie. You know, um, Marlon Brando's performance in particular is just like so iconic and almost cliche at this point. Once I got over my fear, <laughs> and honestly, I have so much trust and faith in Is in her ability to execute this play, I got really, really excited about it. You know we can't help but be immersive. <laughs> it's become like a trademark of the factory, which I love. So we're doing it in the garden, uh, the Talbot County Historical Society garden, the back of Neal House that has that little terrace. Um, you know, it's a brick building um, with a brick terrace and uh, a little brick pathway. That is going to be the Kowalski's apartment. Uh, and then the audience will be sat in kind of the lawn uh, surrounding. Uh, and I'm really excited about that too because um, honestly, I can't think of a better way to watch Tennessee Williams than in a steaming hot garden in July. But all of the shows are gonna start at 7 p.m., which means the sun will be well behind the trees. Um, and we're getting the programs printed on hand fans. So we think that that's gonna help with the heat a lot. Uh, we're also doing concessions. Um, so there'll be plenty of water and cocktails available for the patrons. Part of our deal with the Avalon and Plein Air is that we provide outdoor content to enhance their already incredible outdoor festival. But the deal last year was, is that, was that we did a Midsummer Night's Dream um, at the Plein Air kickoff party which um, is a free to the public event um, uh, on Harrison Street. They shut down the whole street and it has kind of a block party vibe. Um, so when we picked Streetcar, I quickly realized that we like can't subject the diners at the Tidewater to Blanche screaming and Stanley throwing radios and like, it's just not a general public event, right? Like you, you really have to opt in to a streetcar. So we've really wanted to um, deepen and solidify our relationship with WHCP. So far, we've only kind of offered them one piece of programming, which was our Christmas radio play last year. So I'd forgotten that last year I commissioned um, one of our staff writers, Jess Hensley, to write me a radio play. Um, and I'd forgotten it because so much had happened. Uh, and then I was like Googling radio plays. And then at one point I noticed there was a folder on my desktop called radio plays. And so I looked in it and her like first draft was in there. Um, so I was like, oh, we'll just do that one. Uh, we're gonna do it like an old timey radio play. So it's called The Ballad of Jesse Devereaux. And it's about, um, a writer uh, in the Old West who's female but writes under a male pen name, and she writes Western stories for newspapers back East. Uh, and this story is about her having writer's block. Um, and she's got some friends who are offering their opinions, uh, and eventually she does start to hit upon a good story, and it gets a little bit out of her control, let's say. Um, so some really exciting elements are, it's an original, 
Um, it's what I'm calling a feminist Western. Uh, it has six women and only three men, which is pretty unusual for the genre. The, some other cool elements are we're having live musical accompaniment by uh, John Beasley's new ska band called The Old Dogs. So we're gonna have like a whole horn section, which is really cool um, and also very Western. Uh, and then um, we're also having live Foley sound. So all of the sound effects will be done live by Charlie Sarfati and um, uh, one of the factory's musical directors, Ray Neeson. It's an hour long, and that includes um, a couple ad breaks uh, that will be read live, again, in the style of an old-timey radio. The Ballad of Jesse Devereaux um, is happening at 7 p.m. at the Plein Air kickoff party, and that means that you can come and watch the recording live, or you can tune in on WHCP and listen to it go out over the airways live. And then I'm sure they will re replay it again, like over the weekend or something like that. I think I talked to Mike about that. Um, the opening night of Streetcar is also July 12th. And the reason that we pushed the start time back to 8 p.m. for that night is because at the end of the radio recording, uh, we will go off the air and then the old dogs, our ska band, we're gonna lead the audience or whoever wants to come street see Streetcar, we're gonna do New Orleans Second Line Parade from Harrison Street down to the Historical Society uh, Garden um, to really you know, kind of start the New Orleans vibe. Uh, so anyone who, so you can come see both basically. Um, and then Streetcar is running uh, July 12th, 13th and 14th. Uh, the 12th, it starts at 8 p.m. All the rest of the shows start at 7 p.m. And then it's also running the following weekend, the 19th, 20th, and 21st. And to get tickets, um, you can uh, go on our Instagram uh, or you can visit thefactoryartsproject.org. Uh, tickets are $25 and all proceeds go um, to the factory fund.